Top 12 Places to See in the UK 1. Buckingham Palace There might not be a more important place in the UK than Buckingham Palace. This huge palace, with 775 rooms, including 78 bathrooms, is in the centre of Westminster and is the official home of the Queen, Elizabeth II. Getting to Buckingham Palace gives the tourists the chance to try out the London Underground, or the Tube, a network of underground and above ground trains that can take you almost anywhere in London. Buckingham Palace has been the site of many exciting events over the years. In 1982, someone broke into Buckingham Palace twice. Michael Fagan broke into Buckingham Palace in June of 1982, stealing and drinking a bottle of Prince Charles's wine before leaving through the gardens without being caught. Then, in July of 1982, he broke into the Queen's bedroom. She asked him what he was doing there before quickly calling security, and Michael was arrested. 2. The Tower of London Although Michael wasn't sent to the Tower of London, many unfortunate people throughout history have been, and it wasn't a nice place to stay at. Today, a tourist can visit the Tower and comfortably view the crown jewels, which are worn by kings and queens when they are coronated, as well as on some other royal occasions. In the 16th century, Lady Jane Grey became Queen of England at just 16 years old, but she only lasted for nine days. The Queen who came after her, Queen Mary, sometimes known as Bloody Mary due to the high number of killings she ordered, kept Lady Jane Grey in the Tower of London. True to her name, Bloody Mary later had Lady Jane Grey killed, and she was only 17 years old at the time of her death. Three. The British Museum On a lighter note, tourists who want to visit the British Museum in London can get on the tube and then enjoy an 8 minute walk to the museum or get the 14 bus which stops just outside. Entry is completely free, although you do need to book in advance and there is an amazing range of things to see such as mummies from ancient Egypt, jewellery from Rome and Greek sculptures of brave fighters athletes and heroes. 4. King's Cross Station Normally a train station wouldn't be such an exciting place to visit. However, King's Cross Station in London is far from being a normal train station. Any tourist who is a Harry Potter fan will love to visit the place where Harry Potter and his friends get on the train to Hogwarts and the beautiful train station is where Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling's parents first met. It is a highly popular location as 50 million people visit King's Cross every year. You can also visit the nearby Granary Square fountains where, if you install an app on your phone, you can play a giant game of snake with the water. Five Jacobite Steam Train Keeping with the Harry Potter theme, a tourist can also travel to the Scottish Highlands far away from busy London to see the train that was used as the Hogwarts Express in the Harry Potter movies. The entire train journey is 84 miles long, from Fort William to Malaig, and goes past some stunning mountains and also the shortest river in the UK, River Mora. The starting location, Fort William, is the largest town in the Scottish Highlands and, apparently, the ghost of the last caretaker of the West Highland Museum can still be heard typing today. Spooky. 6. Ben Nevis Another interesting fact about Fort William is that it is close to Ben Nevis, the highest mountain in the UK. Millions of years ago, Ben Nevis was an active volcano that exploded to make the mountain that 125,000 people now visit every year. A tourist can take the beginner's route up the mountain, which begins two kilometres from Fort William at the Ben Nevis Visitor Centre, which you can get to by bus. If you climb the mountain, look out for some interesting sights. 
Someone once found a piano on top of Ben Nevis, which was taken up the mountain for charity in 1971. Other strange finds include a toilet seat, an entire bed, and even a garden gnome. 7. Edinburgh Castle After all that mountain climbing, you might want to relax by visiting the capital of Scotland, Edinburgh. It has an amazing castle which is the home of the Scottish crown jewels and also the Stone of Destiny. This stone is used for coronations and was stolen from Westminster by four Scottish students on Christmas Day in 1950. You can also see and hear the famous one o'clock gun at Edinburgh Castle. This is a large gun which is fired on most days at one o'clock and used to help ships tell the time. Also, if a tourist looks inside the Great Hall, they will find a lot of medieval weapons and armour, such as impressive battle axes and swords. 8. The Alnwick Poison Garden Just below Scotland, in Northumberland, a tourist can find this mysterious garden, where everything may look pretty, but is actually deadly. You can get here by bus from Newcastle to see the strange plants and flowers in this garden, which are all very dangerous and locked behind iron gates. You cannot touch or eat the plants for obvious reasons. But even with these safety measures, some people can faint from the smell of the plants while visiting the garden. Some people call the Alnwick Poison Garden the deadliest garden in the world, and with plants like giant hogweed, which can burn your skin if it touches you, that name seems very accurate. 9. Stonehenge For a more relaxing sightseeing experience, a tourist might want to visit the ancient stones at Stonehenge. This stone circle was built over 5,000 years ago and has 38 huge stones in it. It is thought that Stonehenge took 1,000 years to finish and it may have been used as a calendar. A tourist can get a bus from Salisbury to the Stonehenge Visitor Centre and then enjoy a 30 minute walk to the stone circle itself. If you want to visit Stonehenge at a very special time, you could go there during the summer solstice or the longest day of the year on the 21st of June. 20,000 people visit Stonehenge on this day to watch the sunrise behind the stones, which is a beautiful sight to see. 10. The Roman Baths more history can be found at the Roman Baths in the suitably named City of Bath. It is the largest city in Somerset, and also the place where someone discovered Uranus in 1781 through a telescope in his back garden. The Roman Baths themselves are breathtaking ruins with an interactive museum as well, and audio guides are available in 12 different languages for tourists to learn about the Roman Baths while they walk around. To visit the Roman Baths, a tourist can get the train to Bath Spa and then take a 10 minute walk. There is a restaurant available at the Baths which serves tasty afternoon tea which a tourist can enjoy during their visit. The Roman Baths are so well preserved that the water still flows through them like it did when the Romans used them. 11. Blackpool Illuminations Now we're going to something bright and exciting, the greatest free light show on earth. The Blackpool illuminations are six miles of lit up decorations in Blackpool, which are turned on between September and January. You can drive through the illuminations, walk by them, or even take a ride on the illuminated train. The illuminations first started in 1879 as an experiment with street lighting, which the public called artificial sunshine. Although we are much more used to the idea of electricity now, these lights are still an amazing sight and can be experienced for free by any tourist who would like to visit Blackpool, a seaside town in Lancashire, which is in the northwest of the UK. 12. Chester Zoo 
Finally, a tourist might want to go to the most visited zoo in the UK, Chester Zoo. You can get to Chester by train and then take a bus to get to Chester Zoo, where over 20,000 animals are waiting for you. You will be able to see lions, giraffes, rhinos, cheetahs, flamingos, jaguars, meerkats and much, much more. Chester Zoo also does a lot of work to help animals in danger of dying out. They have projects for lots of animals in need, from elephants to bats and also wildlife in the UK. A tourist can visit and support Chester Zoo while knowing that they are also supporting the safety of animals across the world. This makes Chester Zoo a really interesting place to visit because of all the animals you can see, but also a good place to visit because of the change they make for species of animals that could die out.